Dave here with another edition of No BS Reactions. Time for me to expand my boundaries a little bit, and maybe yours with it. So this time around, I'm going to be catching up with a band whose name I've at least known, at least heard of, for probably a couple of decades now. But I've just never got around to checking them out for one reason or another. Really can't explain it. And if I've never heard their music before, it, it's probably a minor miracle. I, I may have heard it, not known. Don't know. But I've known the name. So, for those of you not already aware, Mr. Bungle is a band that originated in the 90s, uh, was originally made up of a bunch of guys who were kicked out of their respective bands. That's apparently their words. Most notable among them was their frontman, Mike Patton. Now, if his name sounds familiar, that's because he was also the frontman of Faith No More, and that got a little bit more notice. So uh, this band's future would go on later to apparently include some other famous names, but that's for another video, not for today. So what we have for today is a song called Carousel, which comes from their, de their, their eponymous debut album, uh, which was released way back in 1991. Not the oldest song I've reacted to, but pretty close, <laughs> fairly close. It goes back a ways, more so than I've usually done. So before I get started, though, a uh, quick reminder, if you don't mind, before you forget, before I forget, if you could like and subscribe, that would be wonderful if you wouldn't mind. Don't forget to check out my All Prog Station, The Expanse, on Live 365. The links for that and for my social media are in the description below. So that's out of the way. What we now get to is Mr. Bungle, Carousel, Buckle Up. Interesting. So I, I couldn't help when I was reading up on them a little bit, did a little bit of research this time around, at least just to know who was in the band and figure out where they connected with things. So when I mentioned earlier about these guys having been kicked out of other bands, from what I understand, those other bands were metal bands. This is not metal. <laughs> Definitely not metal, though I, I could probably hear some of that influence in there with the the... Uh, what sort I'm looking for borderline hyper style of play, but really there's a bit more that I'm hearing at this particular moment that I probably would term as ska, but also, and I know this is one of their influences is, is Danny Elfman and Oingo Boingo that I'm absolutely hearing both in the vocal stylings of Mike Patton in some of the lines, although in other parts, he sounds more like the Mike Patton I've come to associate with faith no more but also the, the horns and, and the kind of jumpy rhythms. It's very infectious, really. It's, it's one of these things I could see this being something that it could be a lot of fun live or at a party and things like that. It just actually kind of brings to mind some of the mid-80s stuff, early 80s stuff of Oingo Boingo. So that's definitely there on display here. I think it's just the, the, the kinetic, there's a word I was looking for earlier, the kinetic feeling of the music that, that can bring to mind some forms of metal 
but I really think we're mostly hearing the kind of ska and oingo boingo influence overall more than anything else, despite the background of these guys. So pretty cool tune right now. Kind of fun. Definitely, definitely in an oingo boingo style. This is not a song that takes itself seriously. They're, they're not really talking about heavy topics or dark topics, uh, maybe a little dark, but in, in a satirical or, or uh, sardonic way, perhaps. So let's continue with this here. That's I promise parental advisory and explicit lyrics. I've not come across them yet. And if I don't, I'm going to be disappointed. They threw me off. <laughs> One, I didn't hear excess, ex, ex, explicit lyrics. So that's bullshit. I wanted the explicit lyrics. I, I'm just disappointed. I'm, I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. Anyway. <laughs> All right. So they, they build upon those, those Danny Elfman, Oingo Boingo, Ska, circusy themes. But then they also threw in some 
some metal riffs in there. Definitely uh, some some power riffs going on in there, reflecting their their background in metal. It's pretty cool. And I'm go, kind of going to take back what I was saying earlier about you know, not necessarily deep stuff or 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 dark stuff. Uh, I think the band doesn't take themselves seriously. And I don't know if they take their music incredibly seriously based on this, but there's something going on underneath the surface with those lyrics. And at least to me, by the end of the song, I'm thinking it's speaking a little bit to the chaos of life uh, and the dark, the darkness that hides beneath the surface of things that appear more benign otherwise which could be a circus, which could be a clown for those of you that are already terrified of clowns. Clowns in theory are, are somewhat benign characters or meant to be considered benign, but oftentimes these days they're associated with evil. <laughs> of course, we've got a cover on the album with a clown in the match, and I'm sure he's up to no good with the match, put it nicely. So there's a, a few things going on there, but yes, I do think they are, are, camouflaging darker themes and darker thoughts and a bit of chaos under more mostly silly sounding music and playful music, which is also not unlike Boingo Boingo. Keep going back to them. But there is that similarity that's really on full display here. Like this, this would be a great back to back with Dead Man's Party or, or, or something like that. Uh, both with that kind of, uh, undercurrent of subversiveness and satirical reflections of life and, and or honestly dead man's party is pretty much just a silly song but boingo boingo of course has been known to go in the direction of satire so hey yeah, kind of a fun song you know kind of a cool song you know it's not one of those ones i think i necessarily would go to and go oh that's my favorite song of all time but it's fun. It's something fun to throw in a playlist or whatever and, and listen to it at a party or go see these guys live if you get the chance. I'm not sure their exact status. I know there was an extended hiatus for a while there. And then there was a something of a reunion. But at this moment, I didn't explore far enough to know where that reunion has landed. So anyway, you know what? Worth exploring further. I am going to dig more into Mr. Bungle. And treat them like I've done with some other ones. And at least do a little bit of a uh, chronological review. They have fewer albums to go through. So maybe I'll do a couple songs from each album. See what happens. Interested in your suggestions. What are your thoughts? Those of you that are more familiar with them. How close was I to getting the lyrical interpretation correct? What other thoughts do you have? What did I miss? I'm so very curious. So, so leave some comments there. Let me know your thoughts. Give me some guidance on what I should listen to in the future. I do like to take requests when i can so we'll do that and really at this point that is all i have for you at this time for today so i'm just going to remind you never fear to deviate from the norm keep it proggy and this is super dave signing off